Welcome back and thanks for joining us for another installment in our on-demand training series for Microsoft Dynamics CRM. My name is Randall, I'm with CRM on Target, and in about the next 10 minutes, I'm going to show you how we do a mail merge between Microsoft Office Word using data out of the Dynamics CRM platform. And of course, if you've seen uh, our other demos on the website, you know that there is seamless integration between applications like Microsoft Excel and Microsoft PowerPoint. Today, we're really just gonna focus in on Microsoft Word where we can do uh, mail merge letters, envelopes, labels, and a number of other tasks. So to give the lesson some context, what I'm going to do is go out and create a brand new mail merge document from scratch. It's going to be a blank word document. I'm going to format it just how I like it. I'm going to drop all of my custom fields into the document. I'm going to merge it. And then I'm going to show you how I can upload that back up to the CRM server so that I never have to repeat that work. It'll just be available to me and my team in the future as a mail merge template. So what I'll create is, let's say we'll create a new account letter that I want to go out to all new accounts. And in the body of that letter, I want to drop in account information, information from the primary contact record. I want to go back to the original sales lead record before they were ever an account of ours and see where they heard about us so that maybe I can offer them a special discount in the body of the letter as well. And then I want to make sure that they know how to contact the person who we have assigned to that account or who we would call the account owner so that they, the customer would know how to reach out and contact that person. Now, of course, everything we do in Dynamic CRM, we do from right within the Outlook environment. So let me go ahead and hop over to Outlook. And I've already decided that where I'm gonna do my mail merge, which entity I'm gonna merge with is going to be my account entity. So I'll just go ahead and bring up accounts. And at this point, using my control key, I could randomly select which accounts I want to mail merge with. Or using my shift key, I can go in and select a block of accounts to merge with. Once I have the right record selected, I can just come up and click on my Microsoft Word icon in my toolbar. And now I've got some more options. I'm first going to be prompted to enter what language do I want to do the mail merge in. Then I'm going to be prompted about what kind of merge do I want to do. Is this a letter, an envelope, a label, etc.? And for this lesson, we'll just say that it's a letter. As I mentioned, I'm going to start with a blank document. I only want to merge with the records I have selected on this page. And now I can come into the Data Fields button and select what data I want to take over to Microsoft Word with me. Well, obviously, out of the account record, I'm going to want to take all of the typical mail fields, the street address and those types of things. But because I'm going to share with the customer their account number and their credit rating, I'm just going to come down and make sure that those fields are selected. Then I'm going to come back up and I'm going to pull some information from the primary contact, the person who we have associated to this account as being the primary contact. And I want to pull some fields out of here, like maybe their first name and their last name so that I can address them in a specific manner in the letter. And then I'm going to come up and I'm going to go down to that originating sales lead record. And remember, we wanted to go out and pull the lead source so we know where this particular account originally heard about us. And then that account owner who we've, who we've assigned this account to, we want to dig into their information and present some information as well. So let's go up and, for example, we'll pull the person's uh, the first name, the full name, uh, maybe their job title, the last name, who their manager is, their mobile phone number, and how about their primary email address. And we'll just go ahead and say OK. And at that point, I'll select OK to launch Microsoft Word. Up comes Microsoft Word now and I have this step I can take to sort the, the records, to filter them, to sniff for duplicates. For this lesson, I'm just going to go ahead and say OK. And down here in the lower right, I can start writing my letter. Now because I'm in Microsoft Word, I can do all the things that we enjoy doing in Word. So for example, I'm going to come up and let's drop in a company logo. Let's get that formatted to the proper shape. Let's go ahead and send it behind text and let's drag it up and drop it over here. Okay. And now let's come down and I'm going to insert a field. So I'll say insert, quick parts, and I'm going to insert a date field. So I'll select field, I'll come down to date, and I'll select the format of the date. And I'll say OK. And now I'll come down and the first field that I want to drop in is the primary contact. So we'll come down, here's my primary contact, and we'll say insert. Okay. 
Now I'm going to come down and let's just drop in a regular address block, which will be the company name and street address information. And since we've already put in the primary contact's name, we can uncheck the box about contact information. And we'll say OK. Now I notice that Microsoft Word is going to want to put in some extra space here for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to have it remove that space so that I have proper formatting. Now I'll go ahead and put in a greeting line and we'll make it casual and just use a first name basis. But what I want to do is match my fields and make sure that we're going back to the original or to the primary contact field to grab the first name out of there. Say OK. And now I can scroll through here and make sure that that looks right and it does. And now I can come in and actually start typing the body of my letter. Now I have typed up some text off screen just so you don't have to sit here and watch me. And anywhere that we have capitalized letters, I'm going to come in and I'm going to drop in uh, a field out of CRM. So for example, let's come into account name and we're going to write down here to account name and say insert and say close. Make sure there's a space afterwards. And now our credit limit field, let's go ahead and select more items and come down to credit limit. There it is. Make sure there's space in there. We'll do a period and a couple of spaces. Now let's go back and grab that lead source field. Then we'll come down and we're going to put in that owner's email address. So we'll look in the owner records, primary email. And then we're also going to come down and we're going to put in the owner's mobile phone number. We'll come down in the signature line and we'll insert the owner's full name. And then right below that, let's go ahead and copy the owner's manager. In keeping with tradition, we'll just make that line a little bit smaller. And now that I have my letter in place, I can go ahead and I can preview my letters. And when I preview them, I can see that, yep, it's dropping in a company name for me. It's dropping in the credit limit. It's dropping in the right information and I can scroll account to account now and I can see that information change. Now when I am finished, all I have to do is select complete the merge and now you'll notice a link right here on the right hand side to upload this template back to CRM. Let's go ahead and select that and we'll say yes, we want to create a new mail merge template and this will be the new account. Okay, and we'll come down. We have all of the information filled in, so all we have to do is save and close. Now you'll notice that I could go ahead and print my mail merge letters. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll back out of this at this point. And let's go back to Microsoft CRM. And this time when I try and do a mail merge, you'll notice that I have an email template all ready to go. So I would never have to do that again. We have other videos on the website that I'm sure you'll find of interest including this one uh, in Excel related to integration with Microsoft Office. I'd also welcome you to stop by the website at any time where we always have current and valuable information to help support your deployment of Dynamic CRM. Thanks again for your time. I hope that you found this to be a, a helpful video presentation.